let's work on the lesson division with remainder with numbers up to 1,000. It says divide. 50 divided by 3 is equal to a number. And then we need to find what the remainder is if it has one. So here we have 3. We'll go into 50. First we say 3 will go into 5 how many times? I know it'll go in once. Then we do 3 times 1 is 3. And we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then we bring down our 0. Now we have 20. Now we say 3 will go into 20 how many times? Well, let's count by 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Oh, so it was 18, so that was 6 times. Then we say, all right, well, 3 times 6 is 18. So now we're going to subtract the 18. 2. 20 minus 18 is 2. All right, so 3 will go into 50 16 times with a remainder of 2. So 16 times with a remainder of 2. Great, next we have 10 divided by 5. Well, we could write it out like this. 5 will go into 10 how many times? But we also can count by 5s to find out how many 5s will fit into 10. Let's see. 5, 10, ah, it was 2. And we didn't have any left over because it fit exactly into 10. So it would be 0. 2 with a remainder of 0. Here we have 30 divided by 2. Let's try this one. 2 will go into 30 how many times? 2 will go into 3 once, and we subtract our 2. And then we subtract 3 minus 2 is 1. We bring down our 0. 2 will go into 10 5 times. Minus, ah, 2 times 5 is 10. So 0, our remainder is 0 again. So 2 will go into 30 15 times with a remainder of zero. Our next problem shows 10 divided by 9 is equal to 1 with a remainder of what? Well, if you have 9 and you say, all right, how many times will 9 go into 10? They said 9 won't go into 1, but 9 will go into 10 once, and then you subtract 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. So 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 with a remainder of 1. All right, there it is. Okay, our next problem shows 80 divided by 9 is equal to 8 remainder of what? Let's try it. 9 will go into 80. Well, 9 won't go into 8, but let's count by 9s to see how many 9s will fit in 80. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72. Oh, that's as high as we can go. That was 8. 9 times 8 is 72. We subtract 80 minus 72 is 8. So 80 divided by 9 is equal to 8 with a remainder of 8 because there are eight left over. Fifty divided by three is equal to sixteen with a remainder of what? So three will go into fifty. How many times? Let's see, three will go into five one time, and we subtract three. And we drop down our zero. Now we say three will go into twenty how many times? Well, I know 3 times 6 is 18, so we could do 3 times 6 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. So 50 divided by 3 is equal to 16 with a remainder of 2. So they were asking the remainder, and that is 2. 
All right, 20 divided by 6 is equal to 3 with a remainder of what? Well, let's see first, without even drawing that, how many times 6 will go into 20? 6, 12, 18. Oh, if we go 6 more, that'll be too much. So I know it was 3 times. And then 18, how many are left until we get to 20? 18, 19, 20. Two more. So it should be 3 with a remainder of 2. But let's prove why that works. 6 will go into 20 how many times? We said 3 would be 18, so 6 times 3. So we take away the 18 that we used, and 2 is left, just like we said, because there's 2 left over that the 6 would not fit into. Great, so 2 is our remainder. Here we have 20 divided by 3 is something with a remainder of 2. So let's see, 3 will go into 20. Well, we said 3 times 6 was 18, so we could say 3 times 6 is 18. And then 20 minus 18 is 2. So now it shows we know the remainder is 2, but how many times will 3 go into 20? Yeah, 6 times. 100 divided by 7 is equal to a number with a remainder of 2. So let's see, how many times will 7 go into 100? Well, I know 7 won't go into 1, but 7 will go into 10. So 7 will go into 10 one time. We'll put our 1 right above our first 0. Minus 7, because 7 times 1 is 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. And then we drop down our 0. 7 will go into 30. Let's see. 7, 14, 21, 28. Ah, 4 times, because 7 times 4 is 28. All right, just like they said, we had a remainder of 2. But how many times would 7 go into 100? 14. Our answer is right there. And last, we have 60 divided by 4. They said the remainder is 0, so let's see how many times 4 will go into 60. I know we can start on this side because 4 will go into 6 one time. 6 minus 4 is 2, and then we drop down our 0. 4 will go into 20. Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Ah, 5 times. I counted by 4 5 times. 4 times 5 is 20, so we can subtract 20, and that leaves us with no remainder because 4 fits perfectly into 60. So our remainder is 0, just like they said. So our answer is 15. Fantastic work today, friends.